Hey everybody, it's Friday video time again. Today I'm going to be working with the Forever Flowers for Every Season designer series paper. Here are some of the papers, the front side, the back side, so on and so forth of each one. There's lots of pretty papers in this. This is the one we're going to be using today. This flower right here, the sunflower. And then these are the coordinating colors that go with the Flowers for Every Season DSP. And the coordinating colors we're going to use today are the Bumblebee and the uh, Cinnamon Cider. And of course, we're going to use some Whisper White. Um, when um, the paper comes, it comes, they're six by six size. And when you get a large embossing folder, they come in these pouches. And this is how I store my six by six paper. I don't keep the embossing folder in there. I use this for my six by six paper. It works perfectly. And then I'll cut out the um, name of the paper and put here on the front. Today, we are going to showcase this beautiful um, embossing folder. It's the Old World Paper 3D Embossing Folder, item number 153200. This you'll see in just a minute, makes a gorgeous uh, layer for your paper. Lots of texture, really, really nice. And the stamps and the dies we're gonna be using today, we're gonna to use the Very Visai, this thank you right here sentiment is the one we're going to use. And we'll be using the Stitch So Sweetly dies, as well as the Tasteful Label dies. This is the one we'll be using from Stitch, excuse me, Stitch So Sweetly dies. It's the largest rectangle, scalloped rectangle that's in that set. And then these two from the Tasteful Label dies. We'll be using those to put our sentiment on our card. You'll be using Bumblebee um, ink, your stamping pad. And here's a little sentiment, thank you. And it is on the a size, uh, yeah, the A, number A block is what fits on there. Okay, so to start with, we're going to start out with a piece of Whisper White, and that is 11 by 4 and a quarter and scored at 5 and a half. And you'll take your bone folder and just make sure that's burnished very well. Then you have your piece of cinnamon cider that is five and a quarter by four. You're gonna take it to your die cutting machine and run it through this embossing folder, just like this. Line it up on this line here and run it through your embossing or your die cut machine, whatever you have. And it comes out like this. Both sides of this paper is gorgeous. Either side you can use. But we're going to use this side today. We're going to take our multi-purpose glue and make sure you put a fair amount on there because you've got all the lumps and bumps in here from the embossing folder. You want to make sure it stays adhered down very well. Okay, make sure we got that open right. And we're gonna just adhere that down to the card base here. Hold it down for a minute. Okay. And next we have the piece of um, Flowers for Every Season, DSP. And this measures three and five eighths by two and a half. This is from the the die, the rectangle die here. This is the bumblebee, so you'll cut that largest one out, and we're going to just adhere these two together. And that back side just is pretty, very pretty DSP. I could work with these this paper all day. It's so pretty. Make all kinds of designs with it. Okay, and then we're just going to line this up here. And I say you can still see the stitching around. I'm going to put that down just like that. Make sure it 
adheres well. And I'm just going to kind of lay it out. I want that to go there. And here's our sentiment. I've already stamped it, the thank you. And we're going to mount that here. We're going to glue that on this circular piece of cinnamon cider. Okay. I'm going to put that down right in the middle. That multi purpose glue is very forgiving. You can slip and slide it around for just a minute before it will adhere well. Okay, so I think I'm gonna have this laying here. I'm gonna have this part here, I think. And I'm also gonna use the cinnamon cider um, ribbon that matches the cinnamon cider paper, one of the end colors. I think what I'm gonna do is make a bow Get my bow jig out here that my husband made for me. This is the easiest little gadget to tie a bow there's ever been. Just do this. Run it up through there. I don't ever cut my ribbon off of the spool until I get my bow made. That way you don't waste very much ribbon, or yeah, very much ribbon. I'll take you some snips. Snip it here, snip it there. And let's see what I want to do with this. I, I want these flowers to show so I think I'm going to do that, but I want something else here, I think. Let me see, do I want a piece of ribbon across there? Hmm, I think I will. I think I'll take my tape runner. I don't have any of the snail, or not snail, but the seal yet. I don't have that. So I'll just use what I have in my stash. And we're gonna lay this here. Oops. Pull it across here. And there. Take the snips again. Cut that. Okay, let's see how this looks. Make sure you've got it on straight across. Like that. So I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna pop this up right here. And I think I'm gonna put a bow up there. Okay, so now let's continue on then. I'm gonna use our Multi-purpose glue. I'm gonna mount that right there. I'm gonna hold it down for a minute to make sure that it adheres to this embossing folder layer. Got a lot of humps and bumps there. Then I want to, to pop this up on dimensionals. This gives the card just a little bit more dimension. I think we'll just use two. about there okay and then this pretty little bow that we tied you're gonna have a pretty side and you're gonna have an ugly side back here always look for your pretty side and now we're gonna take a glue dot 
put on the back of the bow. And I'm going to mount it right there in the corner. Okay. <clears throat> so you've got a pretty card, a thank you card. Um, haven't put anything on the inside yet. I uh, don't know who I might send this to or what I might want to just write in and not put a sentiment or I might put some other sentiment inside. Depends on what the thank you is about. So there's another quick card for today. Um, if you guys like the video, please give me a thumbs up, share, and comment specifically. That helps me um, get my subscribers up. Please subscribe. And if you like whatever you see here and want to make this card, I will have the dimensions, the sizes, um, all the measurements, and the products um, linked below the video. And it will take you right to my store and you can purchase those items to make your own card. So again, thank you guys today for joining me on this Friday. I am an independent Stampin' Up! Uh, demonstrator, Stampin' Up! demonstrator from the United States. And I look forward to doing a video for you guys every Friday. So uh, mark your calendar if you want. 10 o'clock on Friday mornings is when it airs. And I'd love to have you subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much and have a great weekend.